Hello everybody. Today I can solve system of equations graphically by doing y1, y2 intersect and setting the x value of the solution. Now this lesson is really the same thing as um, multiple choice strategy with open response. It's the exact same procedure, so um, it should seem very familiar to you. All right, it wants me to solve this uh, for all values of x. So I'm going to put this into y1. I'm going to put this into y2. And I'm going to find the intersection. So it looks a little bit different than the strategy, but it's the same exact procedure. Basically, what it wants me to do is to solve the system where my first step would be setting them equal to each other. And then from there, I'm going to find the intersection. So I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to go to y equals. I'm going to go to y1 and type in x squared. Probably trouble here. x squared minus 4 and 2x plus 2. And I always like to start with zoom 6. That gives me my standard window. I may or may not see everything that I want to see in there. Do I see everything I want to see? Yes, this window looks good. So I'm going to go second trace, option five, intersect, and I'm going to do one at a time. I move it to my first intersection point. I hit enter, enter, enter. And I'm looking for the X coordinate. I don't care about the Y. I only care about the X. I believe I said to round to the nearest thousandth. So that would be X equals negative 1.646. Now I'm going to repeat that procedure for the second intersection point. Second trace, option five, and I'm gonna move my cursor to the other intersection point. Enter, enter, enter. Again, I only care about the X coordinate, X equals 3.646. And those are my answers. So whenever I want to determine solve for f of x equals g of x, y1, y2, intersect. Start with zoom six. If zoom six is good, then you don't have to worry about just you don't have to worry about adjusting your window. You just go second trace option five, and you hit enter, enter, enter on each. Uh, we will have to deal with the adjusting of the windows later on in the sheet. Also, a big thing in this lesson is going to be how to type different things in. So let's kind of go forward to one where typing things in might be a little trickier. So for number three, to solve this system, to solve this system, to solve f of x equals g of x, y1, y2, intersect. And I'm looking for the X coordinates of the solution, not the Y coordinates. So to type in log base three, I hit alpha window five. I've seen this before. Log base is alpha window five. Log base three of X. Whoops. I want to go into Y equals to do that. So again, to type in that log base, Alpha window five. The bottom one is not a big deal to type in. Now we start with zoom six. Did zoom six give me what I want to see? Yeah, I feel like I see everything. I see two intersection points. So I hit second trace, option five. I move my cursor to the first intersection point as close as I can. I hit enter, enter, enter to the nearest thousand. That's 3.888. And again, I only care for the X coordinate. And now I'm going to repeat that procedure for the Y's. In fact, you know what? Why don't you take a moment 
and repeat the procedure for the Y. You don't have to pause, it'll give you like 30 seconds. Hit second trace, intersect, move it to the other point, hit enter three times. It'll give you about 30 seconds to try that on your own, and then I'll do it. Okay, so again, I hit second trace, option five, move the cursor, enter, 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 to the nearest thousandth, x equals 6.294. There's not going to always be two, it could be one, it could be zero, it could be five, there's no, there's no single answer. So here's what I want you to do at this point. I want you to, well, I want to make sure you know how to type this stuff in. Let's just take a look at number four. I'm not going to do the problem for you. I just want to get you started. Again, it's asking for f of x equals g of x. Whenever they ask you for f of x equals g of x, y1, y2, intersect to type in the absolute value bars. Very close to where we went for the log base. Let's clear these out. Alpha window option one, ABS, that's your absolute value bars. X minus three, negative X squared minus three X plus four. Zoom six, does it give me everything that I want to see? Yes. So what I want you to do right now, I want you to pause it, and I want you to finish this problem on your own, and then unpause. Okay, now that you tried number four on your own, second trace, five. I like to always go from left to right. Enter, enter, enter. I'm looking at the x coordinate, only the x, that's negative 2.414. Now on this sheet, I said to round everything to the nearest thousand, but understand within a problem, they can ask you to round to whatever they want. Repeat the procedure, second trace, option five, intersect, move the cursor to the other intersection point, enter, 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 0.414. And that's it. I am going to move on to number nine. Whenever I see f of x equals g of x, y1, y2, intersect, and I want the x coordinates of my solutions. Y equals 100, 1 1.16 to the power whoops, of X, 5X squared plus 50. Well, we start with zoom 6. And it gives me nothing. So, again, we talked about this when we did our um, open response equations. If it gives me nothing, then I, instead of zoom 6, I always want to try zoom 6 first. If zoom 6 gives me nothing or very little, then I want to go to zoom 0, which is zoom fit. Zoom fit is what the calculator thinks you want to see. It may or may not be perfect or good enough, but it's going to be better than, you know, zoom six if zoom six gives you nothing. So this is what the calculator thinks you want to see. And yeah, this particular one looks great. I see two points of intersection, so I'm going to find them. So why don't you do it from here, actually? So why don't you hit pause, finish this problem off from here, and then unpause. Okay, now that you tried number nine on your own, Second trace, option five. 
enter, enter, enter. X equals negative 2.137. And then I repeat the procedure. Slowly but surely, that little spider is going to make its way along the web to get to that point. There we go. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The calculator will make it perfect. I just have to put it near it. X equals 6.544. That's it. Um, let's try number 11. Again, whenever they're asking for f of x equals g of x, I'm going to do y1, y2, intersect, and uh, I'm going to do y1, y2, intersect. I'm going to start with zoom 6. So let's go to y equals 2,000 ln is the third on the left from the bottom. It's above the storing button, two above the on button. 2,000 ln x, y2 is 0.8 x minus 52 squared. I start with zoom 6. Zoom 6 is pretty useless. I see something. I see one little line, but not really anything to, to see what's going on. So because of that, I'm going to go to zoom 0, which is zoom fit, which is what the calculator thinks I want to see. Is that perfect? Well, it's okay. But, like, since this is a parabola, I know it's going to come back up. So I feel like I want to see more of the right. So if I want to see more of something, I go to my window. This is the first time we're seeing it today, but we did this, again, in the open response equations lesson. And if I want to see more of the left, so let's see how I can do this here. All right, let's do this. Let's stop. All right, let's try it again. Oh my God. Sorry, what is, everything's coming up except what I want to come up. Oh my God. All right, let's try this again. All right. I want, uh, all right. Pause. All right, I guess I get to see me and my little one. So, x min is your left. So, if you want to see more of your left, you're going to go to x min. x max is your right. y min is your bottom, y max is your top. So if you want to see more of any one of those directions, that's how you do it. And again, what button did I press to to get here? Window, which is next to your y equals. So because I want to see more of my rights, I'm going to change my x max instead of 10. And don't be afraid to like, you know, make it significantly bigger. I like to usually at least double it or triple it. So I'll try to triple it in this case and see what happens. All right, not perfect. So here, I'm just gonna um, bring it back to what I had before. I just wanted to write out that left, right, top, bottom for you. So now I wanna see more of the right, so I'll double it again.
All right, starting to turn around. But I feel like I still feel like I need to see a lot more. I'm gonna triple it. I'm gonna go 180. All right, now my X looks good, but it looks like I see I need to see more of my top. So I'm gonna make my Y max right now. It's 4600. So again, I'm gonna double it. I'm gonna make it 10,000. And now, oh, I gotta see more of my top. So I don't need, need to double it, but I'm gonna make it a uh, fifteen thousand. And like, don't go by like if you go by like a few, it's not gonna do anything. You know, you need to make a substantial amount of what it already is. And now I see everything I want to see. So I'm gonna hit second trace option five. This kind of looks like a Jesus fish for those of you who had me last year in geometry with our constructions. This Jesus fish, I guess, comes up a lot in math. Enter, enter, enter. Remember, it's the x coordinate. So that would be x equals 2.649. And then the y coordinate. I'm sorry, then the other x coordinate. Second trace, option 5. Move the cursor. all the way I know this is taking a while enter 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 164.980 164.980 did I say that right 164.980 that's it so this is an example where you're going to have to do a lot of messing with the window and the ones in the back are ones where you're going to have to you know expect expect to have to adjust your window so let's just do I don't know maybe one more This one looks like fun. So, whenever it wants me to do f of x equals g of x, I do y1, y2, intersect. So, uh, listen, if you want to pause it and do it on your own first, that's totally fine. If you want to follow along with me, that's fine. I suggest you try, and try it on your own, but uh, I'll leave it completely up to you. So I'm going to go to my calculator, I'm going to go to y equals, I'm going to type in 12 radical x plus 100 plus 57, and then the bottom is negative alpha y equals enter, 1 half absolute value bars, alpha window option one, x plus two. I'm gonna start with zoom six. Zoom six gives me nothing. So if zoom six is not good, then I go to zoom zero, which is zoom fit. And I'm gonna see what this gives me. So it looks like the top one's my absolute value. The bottom one looks like it's my radical. I want to see more of my rights. So I'm going to adjust my window. I'm going to adjust my X max. Instead of 10, I'm going to go 50. All right. I can see that. Now I'm wondering if it's going to catch on the left as well. So I'm going to go to negative 50 on the left because I feel like maybe they're going to hit over there as well. Let's see what this looks like. 
it does not look like it. They kind of look parallel to each other. Um, so let's just go a little bit more to the left just to be sure. Let's make it a negative 100. And let's see, are those going to catch each other? No, I don't think those are going to catch each other on the left. Well, let's look a little bit more at the bottom. Let's make my Y min uh, negative 200. No, I can kind of see, I can see now that they're not going to catch each other because that one is dipping down. So, my picture isn't as great as it was, but it's still good enough. So I can trace intersect. Move my cursor to the intersection point. Enter, enter, enter. 33.107. And that's the only intersection point that I see here. So I'm good. So listen, it's a lot of messing around with the calculator. This whole lesson's in the calculator, but the more you practice, the more you're going to get it. It's going to be a little frustrating at first. So to sum up, whenever you want to solve a system graphically, y1, y2 intersects. It's always the x-coordinate. Always start with zoom 6. If zoom 6 gives you nothing, then go zoom 0, which is zoom fit. And you may need to go to your window and mess around from there. And again, in your window, your X min is your left, your X max is your right, Y min is your bottom, Y max is your top. Your classwork slash homework is to finish this worksheet. It's very important. Every region if they ask a question on this. Um, so it's very important that it gets done, that you understand it. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.